Hi, welcome to Undead Yarn episode 11. My name is Heidi and you can find me as Nitty Girl on Ravelry and Plurk and Nitty Girl 1 on Twitter and Instagram. This is going to be a short episode. I just wanted to record and tell you all a little bit about um, when I went to Arkansas Fiber Fest. That was a lot of fun um, and I met a lot of people and it was a really good time. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and tell you a little bit about it. The drive up was fine. Luckily I got up there before the weather was bad. But um, that night, the Thursday that I drove up, it was uh, December 5th. That night I was going to go to the show, but I didn't because um, there was ice on my car and they kept saying the roads were bad. So I missed out on Thursday night. Um, but uh, I did make it in on Friday, and Friday I went to the market and I met several people. The first person I met was Klaus Shirley, and she's Carolyn from Girlfriends Knitting, and I met her and her partner Amy, and they're just little, they're sweethearts. They were wonderful. I bought a bunch of stitch markers and um, some earrings from them, and um, they're going to be starting so, some new items in their shop in January so if you go check out their shop right now on Etsy Girlfriends Knitting I think they might be having a sale because I think they're trying to move out some inventory so they can bring new stuff in. Um, and then the next person I talked to was the Knitting Fairy and I've actually taken a class from her before. She was a really good teacher. She taught me how to mattress stitch and how to um, how to finish sweaters basically and ever since I've taken that class I feel a lot more confident in that in my skills there. She has a yarn shop in Dallas Fort Worth and she also is a pattern writer. Uh, she's a designer and she also carries um, Dizzy Lettuce yarns and Dizzy Lettuce is from Austin and I really enjoy her yarn so of course I had to pick up a skein of that there and I thought I'd also mention that Knitting Fairy also holds a retreat every February up in Denton and I guess they have classes and um, and they stay at, uh, it's like a retreat center, and they do that every year. And then I also met Knitting Rose, um, Lise of Knitting Rose Yarns, and I've been in her yarn club. I've actually met her a couple times at different fiber fests, and uh, we talked for a while, and I ended up buying, um, buying two of her skeins of yarn to go along with a pattern. It's a shawl that... You can use a variegated yarn along with a solid yarn, and um, it, it gives a, a neat little contrast. Um, you work back and forth, switching the yarns as you go. And then I also got to meet Jennifer of Daisy Knits, and we talked for a while, and she was talking about uh, how she does a lot of retreats. So you'll probably be hearing a lot more about her and her yarns. She, I bought some lace weight. It was really a, a nice silk and merino blend. And then I bought some sock yarn from her. Um, so you might hear about her again. I think she's going to be going to the sock bunny retreat. And she said she's also going to the one with the ladies from Just One More Row. I believe that's Dana from Mine and Wine Yarn Company who's holding that one. And she's going to go to the zombie apocalypse too. So she's going to be getting around the retreat circuit for a while. Um, and so that's what I did on Friday. I got to meet all those people and talk to them and I had a really good time talking to people. It was fun. Nice to meet everybody. And then on Saturday I had a class in the morning with Sally Melville and she had um, some interesting take on looking at your stitches and Basically, she was talking about how to make your items look more uniform, to make the stitches look similar, like increases and decreases, how to how to uh, perform those without making them really obvious in your knitting so that it looks smoother. And she had a lot of really unique ideas. Um, during the class, some of the, uh, one of the girls at the table I was sitting at kept saying, ooh, scandalous, because she had like totally different look on um, increases and decreases and what you should and shouldn't do with your yarn. And um, it was really interesting. I learned a lot from that class. Um, and I've already started using some of her skills in uh, my knitting. So that's, that was a lot of fun. And after that, they had a fashion show. And during the fashion show, I met Elizabeth Musselman. 
and I had taken a class from her before, but I hadn't really had time to sit down and talk to her. And um, the class I took from her was a, a couple years ago, and it was a stranded knitting class, and I really like how she taught stranded knitting. It made me not be afraid to do it, and I actually followed her um, followed her pattern for the uh, fingerless mitts, and it was my first color work, and I finished those. So now I actually am able to look at patterns and think about it a little bit more that, uh, well, I might, you know, I might consider color work now. I don't feel like it's as scary as I thought it was. But um, I had a really good time with talking to Elizabeth. She is a very down-to-earth person. She was a lot of fun, and she's funny. Um, I, mean, I hope to keep in touch with her because she also lives in Austin. So, hi, Elizabeth. I had a good time talking to you at the, uh, at the retreat. I guess it's not a retreat. It was the Fiber Fest. Anyway. Um, I just wanted to drop a little line in, tell everybody happy holidays. I hope y'all are all um, staying safe and warm. That was the other thing. I couldn't leave on Sunday. I needed to go back to work on Monday, but I couldn't make it because the weather was uh, so bad. It wasn't as awful in Arkansas as it was once you reached the Texas border. It was really bad in Dallas, and I even I waited till Monday to drive back, and that was even kind of scary. Um, there was one exit where they hadn't even cleared it. It was full of snow, or it was actually an entrance ramp. It was just all snow, and then one of the entrance ramps I had to um, go like 35 miles an hour because it was icy. But I made it back, and I'm glad to be back. And I actually just finished my last week of work before the holidays, so I'm going to be on holiday now. And um, hopefully I will see you guys again soon. I will try to get this episode up today, and then... Um, not sure when I'm going to record again. Probably won't be till um, the beginning of the year because iTunes is probably going to be slow about uploading stuff right now. Anyway, um, everybody have a good holiday and don't forget, get busy knitting or get busy dying. Bye!